have no idea how I'm going to do an intro for this vlog, so please bear with me. Um, but I decided that I wanted to record uh, this journey, as you can tell from the title. I will be having a myomectomy, or I would have had a myomectomy by the time you guys see this video. Um, so I wanted to take you guys along with me on my journey. My myomectomy is scheduled for next week, which is December the 14th. Um, and today I'm actually on my way to get my, um, to do my pre-op appointment before my surgery. So I decided to take you guys along with me since a lot of you guys, I didn't actually think that this was going to be so big on my channel. It's not like a, like a viral video or anything like that, but I decided to share my story, um, with me when I was pregnant with my daughter, who is now one year old, <laughs> was a one year old. Um, my journey with being pregnant and having fibroids. So I decided to do that video and a lot of you guys uh, told me that you're, you were or you currently are experiencing the same thing that I experienced. So since I'm going to get my fibroid removed, I decided to just do a vlog showing you guys the whole entire experience. So like I said before, I'm on my way to go see the specialist that's going to be performing the surgery on me. I have my pre-op appointment today at uh, 2.30. So I'm currently on my way right now. And of course, it's raining outside. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear me clearly since I have the windshield go on, wipers going. Um, I may have to do a few takes, but if this one is a good take, then let's just go ahead and go through it. So like I said, I'm gonna take you guys along with my journey. So keep watching. So I just finished my pre-op appointment. It seems like oh, surgery is going to be smooth and easy. It's similar to like me getting my C-section. Only difference is I'm going to be in the hospital a little bit longer, um, but I feel a little good. So I'm gonna wait till I get inside the car and then I'll tell you guys what the doctor said. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys just a recap on what went on with my pre-op appointment today. So I met with my doctor, Dr. Sweet. And um, we did some physicals. He checked the size of my fibroid. And um, he said, let's see if I can say the medical terms. So it's gonna be a laparoscopic myomectomy with possible scar revision. Um, there was another paperwork that he had here that went into detail on what type of fibroid I had. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, see, I can't say these medical terms. So what I'll do is I'll pull it up on the screen so you guys can see what the medical terms are because of course he has um, a doctor handwriting. Um, so that's what's gonna be um, done to me. Um, so we did a little um, checkup first. And then after that, I had to fill out some paperwork, which is in here to give to the hospital consent forms and stuff like that. Surgery is gonna be about two hours. I think I'm supposed to be there at one o'clock. I'm waiting for the, uh, the hospital to give me a call to confirm my arrival time. I do have to fast, Ugh. Um, but I need to because girl, girl. Um, so I have to fast. Um, the hospital says no eating past midnight, but my um, doctor said that I can try to, if I wanted to eat a breakfast to not eat anything past 5 a.m. Um, so there's no water, no gum, nothing like that. Same thing like my C-section. I have to like fast um, before I go. Surgery is going to be about two hours and they're going to update my husband um, for the first hour. And then when I'm done, and in my room, they'll update him again. Um, due to COVID, the hospital is not allowing my husband to stay. Um, so he has to drop me off. Um, they have no visitors in the lobby, in the coffee room, um, in the lunch area, cafeteria, um, in the waiting area. So my husband will have to drop me off. I told him to just go to work because I feel like by the time he's done with work and he is driving back, I'll be done with surgery and then he can come and visit me. Um, my hospital stay, he predicts that I'll be in the hospital no later than Wednesday. My schedule, uh, my surgery is scheduled to be on the 14th. So I'll be there for at least two nights. He said he doesn't really see, it's very rare that he sees a patient go home the next day. Um, so I'll be there at least two nights, which stinks so bad because I'm going to miss my little pumpkin pie. 
Um, and, but I think, like, I don't think she's going to realize that I'm gone. Like, even though she's 12 months, I feel like she might not realize mommy is gone until she sees mommy and comes back. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'll be home no later than Wednesday. My menstrual cycle is supposed to start on the 17th. I should have asked him about that. Like, what if my period comes early? I didn't ask about that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, my prescription. So he did, um, order some prescription, um, my medicine for me. Um, because he is ordering narcotics for me. I don't remember the specific. Did he put it in here? Exactly what medicine I'm taking? I don't know if he did. But he did place the order for CVS for me. No, I don't think it's in here. So he did put the order in uh, for me at CVS so I can pick it up early so that I can just go straight home after and my meds will be there. So I have to wait for CVS to call me, let me know my prescription is ready and I'll come pick it up. So that's all in all how the pre-op appointment went. <laughs> Sorry for rambling, um, but that's how everything went. That's all I have. Um, you're gonna see my hair be different. I'm gonna take this weave out. I'm going to braid my hair up. That's going to be in another video. Um, so that's that. And hopefully I'll see you guys again. Maybe after I take my COVID test. Maybe the day of the surgery. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I'm just talking and then I'm going to edit it out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty. Time to take my COVID test. I'm in line to check in. I couldn't find the location because they moved the spot. But I am here. Ready to take it. Okay. So I planned on recording <laughs> my whole COVID process and I had my camera set up on my, um, my little thing right here. Can you see it? I had my camera set up on that. So um, I had it front facing, <laughs> I had the camera front facing and I was like, okay, no, cause she's gonna see me when I'm recording. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around and didn't turn the camera around. So you're gonna hear the experience, but you're not gonna see the experience. All right, so I'm gonna do my phone. All right, so I'm gonna face my phone this way so I can try to see if it's gonna show you. Thank you. What's your name, please? Tamisha Kusei, 1025-83. I'm a 1026. Oh, nice. That's a lot older. <laughs> Have you done this before? Are Once. you a pro? Okay. Hold. Hold. Back, honey. Maybe it's different. Yeah. So you're going to keep your head back. Okay. As far as you can, Jack, like that. Do you want me to come and see that? If you can, just a bit, then we'll help you. Let me know when to stop. A little bit more. Is it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but she was going to do the other one. Yeah. <laughs> That's Woo. the good news. Ah, thank you. Okay. Be thank safe. You. Thank you. Lord, my nose. Like, I didn't know they were going to go all the way up in there. Like, she went all the way up in there. But anyway. I apologize for not getting that footage because yeah um so i'm gonna head right now to walmart to get some um stuff for the hospital uh i think i want to get some like snacks um i have slippers um some soap and stuff and just some stuff for me when i get back home um from the hospital also i need to check with cvs to see if my prescription is ready because i was supposed to pick up my prescription so I'm gonna run some errands right now and then check-in time is at 11 on Monday. Um, hubby's gonna stay with me until they get me into the surgery room. He's gonna shop around the area, wait for surgery to be done and then come back once I'm in recovery. So I will see you guys on Monday. coming in with a super quick update um because i am so tired <laughs> um but surgery went well my throat hurts really really bad um i can't eat anything until 5 a.m 
Um, my last meal was 11.57 p.m. on the Sunday. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna give you guys more of a detail on what's going on. Um, but they have oxygen um, as a precaution because my oxygen level is just a little low. She said that's due to the um, the meds that they're giving me. Um, my pain level is um, like a six out of 10. So I don't know what they have in there that's giving me medicine, um, but that's that. And I'm in like this little like tent thing. She said this is like, they thought that COVID was gonna be a thing in this hospital. So they had like, set up sections but it didn't get bad in my area so they have the sections still set up um so that's that um but like i said tomorrow i'll probably go more into detail when my throat is a little bit better and then i can set up my tripod that i have and my ring light so it's like better lighting um but it's currently i think it's like nine ten o'clock it's a little past 10 o'clock oh man it hurts but anyway yeah i'm using my front face of my camera so hopefully the quality is good and you're probably like girl we don't care about quality but i wanted to at least make sure i'm i'm not straining myself to try to figure out where i am in frame so i keep falling in and out of sleep since um since surgery so i'm probably just go back to sleep i still have my catheter in me but it feels like i have to pee <laughs> but no one has changed my catheter yet so hopefully i'm okay um and i did look at my scar let me see if i can show you guys without showing too much oh. all right let me see how to do this Hold on a second. I don't want to show you like my whole badge. <laughs> um, but here's the scar. Right here. So this is what it looks like. So it's longer than where my C-section was. And they use like liquid tape to seal me up. So that's that. Um, so yeah, like I said, oh, and also I have to do like breathing exercises. So they gave me, I don't know medical terms, guys. So they gave me this. And I have to blow into it to get up to that arrow right there. So I gotta keep, um, actually I'm not a suck in, like I'm drinking a straw and she said to do it about 10 times and then slowly but surely it's going to start getting higher so that's that i have my ice chips here because i can't eat anything i had my ipad set up but um i can't they can't figure out how to plug in like the charger that i have like i have like a charger for that they can't figure that out so I just took my iPad off and I'm just forced to just watch the TV in here. So and that's that. I will check in again with you tomorrow once I have to finally get up and move because I know that's the part that's going to be painful. Good morning. So it is the fir the morning of after my surgery. It's about 10 something. Um, my catheter just came out. My pain level is about a six. I'm feeling like, you know, when you hold your bladder in, like that's what it's feeling like, like that pain that's there. My throat still hurts a little bit and I think they hit my lip because it's like swollen. I don't know what they did here, but it's swollen. <laughs> <clears throat> I did have some uh, liquids today. They gave me some Jello, um, cranberry juice, and some broth. Um, so I had that, um, and I'm expected to get up. Hopefully, I can get up so I can get my tripod and um, give you guys any updates. 
um but that's what's going on now um I'm right now i'm watching law and order svu um and just chilling i have been going to sleep a lot um i've been in and out of sleep i didn't even tie my hair down i've been in and out of sleep like crazy my throat really hurts someone's having a stroke right now that's really sad that's really sad um but yeah i've been trying to entertain myself but like i only have like one outlet that's working um so i have my charger on that outlet for my phone but i don't have for my ipad pro and my nintendo switch so hopefully that would give me some um motivation to get up and find a charger and put both on the charger because this tv situation sucks um, also, I've been stalking my ring alarm every time my mother-in-law goes outside with Tamia. Mama. Where mama? Hey, mama? Mama is coming. Mama? Mama miss you. Mama, I've been watching them. I miss her so much. I'm gonna wait till my husband gets home later on today from work and um facetime her um, i miss her so so much um but that's it um checking in right now it's 10 15. i'm looking at the time like inverted it's 10 15. i will check in with you guys again is the if i press it didn't have to tell me anything oh. anyway um this is the let me turn the audio off here Uh, here's the uterus. Mm -hmm. Here's the left proximal tube, distal tube, left ovary, right ovary. See a little bit of the right tube. That's the uterus. This is your tumor. Oh my gosh. Right. It's quite a bit bigger than your uterus, substantially bigger than your uterus. There, it's a nice close up. And actually, you can see the fimbria, the fingers of the tube. They all look great. Everything was fine. That I have removed the major tumor. I almost got into the cavity. You can kind of see. That I'm pretty close to the side of the uterus, uh, but your cavity was rotated and shifted, and we were just mm -hmm. a couple millimeters away from the cavity, but I did not get into it. Um, just kind of showing that that's the defect. And then that's the final product, is um, the uh, tumor is removed and everything is closed in multiple layers. It still looks weird, but that swelling will all go down. Yeah, it feels a little swollen right yeah. now. Yeah. <clears throat> that's an actual that's the actual tumor Look at that. and these are <clears throat> inches and so it's about three inches or so okay uh, and that's going to be about seven centimeters mm -hmm. there, just to kind of show you wow Your girl is seriously bloated. Like, look at that. I'm so bloated right now. I just want to pass some gas. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Day three, I'm feeling way better than I did the past two days. I'm able to walk around. The only thing that hurts a little bit is getting in and out of the bed. Last night was a little difficult because I was really, really, really bloated and gassy um so it's hard for me to find a good position to like lay in um i finally got some medication that helped with the pain but the bloating was just a different story um i think i slept some um so that was a good thing hubby visited me last night um like about 15 minutes before visiting hours was over um because he works um and he was able to give me an extension cord which it's something that I really, really wanted so I can charge my iPad and my Nintendo Switch and I can keep myself entertained in between the time. So he provided that for me. My lip is still like, it's still like swollen and like my throat still hurts. I feel like they like scratched my throat, like that thingy thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's medically called. 
think they scratched that when they put the tube down my throat so every time i swallow it hurts it just feels like i have like phlegm in my throat but i'm gonna get up i'm gonna brush my teeth i'm gonna wash my face um, moisturize and just try to relax today because hopefully i get discharged today yay and i can give you guys some <clears throat> footage of me walking around um and i have been passing gas so that's good i feel like i'm gonna have a bowel movement today which i don't want to have i'd rather have it at home where i'm more comfortable because i feel like the toilet seat here is higher than one of my bathroom at home um i still miss my little pumpkin pie i miss her so so much i've been stalking my ring alarm every single time i get a motion at the door and then i finally talked today through the ring alarm and scared my mother-in-law a little bit but to me, it was really excited to hear my voice. So I can't wait to see her and go home. So that's what I have planned today. Just continue to play on my Switch. Um, I've been playing, I'm a big Zelda fan. So I've been playing High uh, Rule Warriors, Age of Calamity. I'm trying to 100% that game. I like to 100% games. So I'm trying to 100% that game. Um, the view here is beautiful i'm on the eighth floor so i'm gonna try to get some footage of what the view is from my room i showed you guys a little bit of the sun rising for today uh, but i want to show you the view because it's really really beautiful um <clears throat> that's all i could think of it's nothing much to do in a hospital besides lay here and get your vitals done and eat food by the way um when they were trying to tell me what my dinner and lunch and breakfast was yesterday they said that dinner is at 4 30. 4 30. crazy um but um i already had my breakfast showed you guys that um i'm so gassy i just want this bloating to go away uh, my doctor should be coming in about about 11 o'clock just to make sure i'm good to be discharged and then i'm gonna head home can't think of anything else so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna show the view of the room <laughs> it's not like you're doing anything wrong you're a pro at it so you just flushing the ivy? Yeah, just flushing the ivy. What does that mean? It just gets the water swirling and cleans it out. Good. Got it. It's cold. And it's cold. Okay. I recommend it to my patients. Try to get out of bed so I can uh, show you guys what my room looks like. Um, so I got a pretty big room to myself. Again, like I told you before, they have these little things here for COVID. COVID's not bad in my area, um, but as a precaution, every room has this in case they need to have a COVID patient. So the room is pretty big. And then it comes with like two chairs. It has this whole setup here. Here I go. What up? Um, TV channels suck which is the reason why I'm glad I had my iPad. But it's not like I'm watching good stuff anyway. I'm gonna try to see if I can pull this machine as much as I can to show you guys the view. Um, and this is the view that I have. Let me try to get closer. Hold on, let me unplug my ID. Okay, that's a little bit better. My tripod. <laughs> So I have this little chair here in case hubby was going to spend the night. And this is my view. Really, really nice view. I'm on the eighth floor. When I had to me, I was like further down. Like I really didn't have a view like this, but the children's hospital is like right around the corner but beautiful day in sunny Florida. My IV needs to be changed soon. Look at that, it's almost done. <clears throat> and then of course the bathroom, pretty big bathroom. One thing I like is that they didn't give me a tub like they gave me when I had Tamiya. Like, how am I supposed to take a shower? leaning over in a tub but here's the shower right here i dropped that i can't pick it up but pretty big bathroom that i have pretty decent
this is what we got for lunch. Some salmon, veggies and mashed potatoes and apple juice. Sometimes they say hospital food is nasty, but so far it's been good. And I really, really wanted the vegetables because I need to get rid of this gas. Oh, that does look so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you for your help today. Let's go. Oh, because of the tile? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's not that bad. Don't do that, babe. I'm I'm already in pain. You're gonna make me laugh. <laughs> pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Hi, Timmy. I can't pick her up. Aww. I got flowers. Today has been officially one week since I've had my surgery. My throat is doing so much better right now. I remember I was complaining about my throat hurting me. I've been spraying chloroseptic on it just to help. Um, but as far as pain levels concerned, with my scar, my pain level, um, where the surgery occurred, that pain level's probably at like a five or a six. I really take my medicine because it's an opioid and I really don't wanna get addicted to it. So I usually take my medicine right before I go to sleep because I feel like that's when the pain is the worst, which is at night, I guess with me just trying to move back and forth. Um, as far as what's giving me the most pain is definitely gas. Gas has given me the worst pain ever. Um, I did have a bowel movement before I left the hospital on Wednesday. Right when my husband was on his way to come pick me up, I did have a bowel movement. That's because they gave me a suppository, not anally, but they gave me a suppository in my IV so I was able to have a bowel movement which wasn't bad at all but it didn't make my stomach hurt it felt like I had to pee a lot and I was concerned because I do live an hour away from the hospital um and then I had another bowel movement when I got home as soon as I got home but I haven't had one since Sunday I've been taking my Miralax every day since Sunday um since uh coming back from the hospital so I was able to finally have a bowel movement on Sunday and then I had one right now. Well, not right now, well, right before I decided to go for a walk. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. I'm finally going out for a walk right now. I'm just walking to the mailbox since it's a really nice day today. And I need to start exercising a little bit more and going for longer walks. So that's what I'm doing right now. Going for a walk with baby girl. We're just gonna walk to the mailbox. The mailbox is walking distance. It's probably about a seven minute walk um to come go and come it's not even a mile um because i usually do that um with Timia anyway prior to having surgery we go for a walk i like to walk around my neighborhood look at everyone's landscaping um look at houses and just enjoy the florida weather as you can see it's december 21st look at that yeah i have a sweater on Timia because by the mailbox it's a lake there and I also have like a lake view back here you can't see it because my um, house is on this strip um, so I have to keep a sweat on to me because once you get by the the water you know this gets a little bit more windy and then you can feel the cool breeze then but yeah that's basically what I'm doing today I don't want to talk you guys' ear off because my arm hurts holding the tripod because I'm trying to hold it with the sun's on my way I try holding it down here where it's a little bit easier 
It looks a little weird. Did you see the sun cast? Let me see. It still looks weird, especially because like the sky is like so blue. <laughs> so it looks weird. Um, just want to talk about pain really quick again. Just laughing just now like that hurts. Um, hopefully I can do longer walks with Tamiya and um, that will be a little bit better so I can heal. Um, my follow-up appointment is on the 29th. I don't want to make this vlog too long so I think what I'll do is I'll follow back up with you guys when I have my follow-up appointment to let you guys know how that went and I'll probably end the vlog then. Um, so let me go ahead and go check the mail and I need to call my mother-in-law once I get home because I need help um, bringing the stroller in because um, there's kind of like a little step at my entrance of my house and I can't do that. I mean, I could, but I don't want to hurt myself. Sometimes I have caught myself picking to me up, which is not good and does hurt my incision area. Also, um, when it comes to um, my surgery and my medicine, which is probably another reason why I'm not taking my medicine is I tend to get dizzy spells and feel really, really weak. Um, I get very, very lightheaded and I have to lay down. Um, so I had my husband look at my incision area and he said it looks pretty good. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. He said it's looking pretty good. So I'm thinking it's probably just the side effect from my meds that's causing me to have like those like dizzy spells but honestly i just really need to take it easy i really need to just drink more water um definitely need to drink more water just so that i can just hydrate myself i actually have water here this is what i've been doing um i've been putting just some um twinning uh herbal cold infused um tea bags and I've also been taking raspberry leaf tea. I forgot to mention that, guys. So I've been taking raspberry leaf tea before my surgery, and I've been taking it now since it helps with your uterus and strengthening in it. So I've been drinking um, three tea bags a day, but I drink it cold, so I'll let it steep for like 30 minutes, and then I'll put it in like a tumbler and then put it in the refrigerator and have that cold. So I've been doing that for three weeks before my surgery and I'm gonna do it now just to help with my uterus to heal. Um, I feel like I've talked my ear off, your ear off, so. Let me go. pants like being really tight on my stomach because like my stomach is still like swollen girl get yourself some maternity pants i had a c-section before so these they fit and it's not too tight and then also in my c-section recovery video i told you guys about these underwears look at me sweating right here that is disgusting um told you guys about these panties how they work because again there's no pressure on the incision area so let me see how I can angle this. Right, I'll show you guys my whole cootie coo. All right. So again, my stomach is still, it's still like tender from it, but this is one week after. 
Let me see. If I lower the camera down, can you, is it an angle? Alright. So, one week after. It mainly hurts on the sides here. I can touch it. So it doesn't hurt when I touch it. But these right here, that part, hurts really bad. And I think for my appointment next week, I'm going to get rid of my cubic hair because I don't know if they're going to remove the tape. But this is one week after. Ooh. And this was the sweat. Whoa! It might be sweat or it also could be that I've been using vitamin E oil on my skin. And I always put my pants up first and then take my shirt out. I guess that's a good thing. Girl, and then let me tell you, is this a side effect? Like, what is this? What is this? Someone tell me. Have you had this? Look at my skin peeling. Look at that. Have you? Oh, this is what I plan on using on my incision. I bought this from Amazon. It comes in packs like this. So it comes with three packs and then you cut it to fit. So I cut a thin strip and then I put it across. So there's gonna be a couple of thin strips. Um, I feel like that helped with, oh, there's more than three in here? Oh, it's four in here. Does it say four sheets? Yeah, it does. It says it right here. Mm, right here. <laughs> right there, there you go. Um, so I plan on doing that once the glue gets comes off. And then let me see if I can just show you the oils. It is warm in this house. This is from Amazon as well. I'll link everything in the description box. And then Moderna. This is what I've been using on my actual um, stretch marks as well, this combination, and it works. Like my stretch marks are finally fading. I don't know if stretch marks like eventually fade over time or if that's helping it. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. Oh, let me take my exercise thing off. Whew. Okay, let me get that, count them calories. But I'm actually really warm right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you guys my next update after I have my two week update surgery um, post-op um appointment on the 29th and i think that's all the updates i'll probably give you um if this video does go well um then i'll give more updates because these type of surgeries first of all it's hard to find someone do a vlog about it for so long but it's not as common as you think so i probably won't get much views on this vlog but if you guys want more of an update just let me know if you're having the myomectomy as well, let me know what kind you're having. I don't know the terminology of my myomectomy, but I definitely will put it in the title. Um, I'm really feeling dizzy right now. How long is the blue headed? And my throat's hurting me. Uh, I'm gonna go lay down. This is literally what I've been putting on my head to I haven't oiled my scalp, nothing like that. I've literally been putting this headband on my head. This is, this is all I do. Oh man, I'm feeling so dizzy. 